sit there and look pretty. They can be quite lazy too. Rosellas are endemic to Tasmania, yeah. so you will only ever find them here. Now you will find them in large numbers around winter time because they love the cooler climates. And winter time, there's going to be a lot of natural food for them as well. Now there isn't much information recorded about these gorgeous birds. It's unclear why. But uh, all I know is, is that it's nesting time for these little ones. They have the most amazing colours. They're very, very super friendly and very easy for them to trust you. Now, if you do have some beautiful parrots, wild parrots, where you live, that you would like to come and land in your hand here, the trick is, is to find out what their weaknesses are. This one here, its weaknesses are sunflower seeds. So you pop a small amount of food out in the same spot at the same time every single day. Eventually, they will build up that trust and be able to come and land in your hand just like this. It just means that every person, men included, can feel like a Disney princess and have <laughs> birds land all over them. <laughs> hey, where's all your friends? Now, quite often we get up to about five different uh, rosellas come in to land on everybody while I'm here, but uh, we've got the pleasure of this beautiful little female. You never know, they may still come. Are you finished? It's amazing how quickly they crack open the sunflower seeds to get centers out. Got a few sparrows, yeah. introduced species, a pest. Yep. Oh, the tawny frog mouth, well spotted. So I'll bring, I'll get you guys to come and have a look at him last because he's a bit sore at the moment, got an injured wing, so he'll quite happily sit there. You finished? on the ground. There you go, little one. All done. What are you going to do now? You going to fly off? Yeah. Oh, there we go. So you will find these. Oh, yeah, there's another one up there. Oh, the they're tree. all up there. All right, well, they'll come and play with us a little bit later then. Now, you will find these pretty much all over the young zoo, and they'll more than likely follow you around, there's hoping that you've got food in your pocket. Oh, oh. Okay, there's another introduced species, the blackbird. Hey, get out of it, you nasty piece of work. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to bring out one of our long-term residents. Oh, oh. Told you are a nasty piece of work. <laughs> You've got a nest somewhere. Mm -hmm. There must be a nest up here with them somewhere yeah. for them to touch like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, our next guest is going to come up from the sky, so if you'd like to look up and slightly towards your right, I'd like to introduce Bossy. pretty much all over mainland Australia and in Tasmania. Now they fly in small family groups from two up to about 25. Now speaking of the number 25, that's how old they would average to in the wild. 
In captivity, it is a complete different story. These birds can live up to about the age of 75. Yeah. So it's from one extreme to another with these guys. In fact, it has been known for one of these birds to make it all the way to 100. Now that particular galah did receive a letter from the Queen for doing so. Oh. <laughs> now Bossy here is a beautiful 45 years of age, aren't you mate? And still going strong. He did belong to a lovely couple who could no longer take care of him. That's why we have him here today. Mm -hmm. He's absolutely gorgeous. Now galahs, they do have the brain capacity of a two-year-old child, so they are quite intelligent for birds. But just like any two-year-old child, they can misbehave and chuck tantrums. So you must be prepared for that. Uh, but Bossy here, he loves to dance. You want to dance? You want to dance? Sort of, you're getting there. If you can do a bit better than that. Dance, dance, dance. No, you're not in the mood, are you? That's okay. Oh, I know. Come down here. Good boy. Oh, now you want to dance. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Now, if you were thinking of getting one of these birds as a pet, I highly recommend not to. They belong in the wild. But if you do, be prepared to hand them down to your children and perhaps your children's children because they will live for a bloody long time. Now, we do have a younger galah that you can go and check out in our bird aviary. Now, you'll be able to tell she's quite young because her beautiful rose colours are so bright. Bossy here is starting to fade, but you're still looking quite handsome, aren't you, mate? Yeah, yeah. Well, come down here. But I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm baffled and trying to imagine how this 100-year-old galah would actually look. Whether it's slightly bald or completely <laughs> grey, it would be amazing to actually find a picture of that old boy. You ready to go home? You are. Look at you. Off you go. Just keep your eye on him in there. Sorry about the glare. I wish I could put a shade off out. But... <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> That'd be really good, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why you guys have come out to play? Where have you been? You guys come? Yeah. You gonna come up? Oh, oh I dropped one. Now, you are more than welcome to come up around here so you can have a closer look. 